Good afternoon everyone and welcome. Welcome to our webinar today around data discovery and it's titled Excel to BI to Planning. My name is Michael, I'm from Professional Advantage, I'll be your host today and I'm joined by Sophia who will actually do the presentation on the content for us today. And look, we're certainly both excited to be presenting today because we can definitely see that this topic has has really resonated with the audience. We've got a high number of attendees. So that combination of acknowledging the popularity of Excel uh, and the relevance of planning and the combination of moving Excel into a planning mode is certainly a great topic for us today. And we, we, we're looking forward to sharing that content with you. So before we get started, I just want to note a couple of things for you. At any time during the presentation, you can ask us a question. Uh, on the right hand side of your GoToWebinar panel there is a questions box. You can type that question in at any time during the presentation. We have allowed some time at the end of the session to go through those questions and answer them for you. Now of course we'll need Sophia to be doing the answering of the questions but please ask those questions as we go and we'll get to them at the end of the session. We are recording the session today. so. Certainly take as many notes as you can, ask as many questions as you like, um, but we will, as part of the follow-up to today's event, send a link through to you to our YouTube channel, which will be a recording, a full recording of the session. Um, we'll also share a copy of the presentation slides, which has some information on there and a couple of useful links as well. So on that, I'd like to hand over to Sophia, who will take us through the presentation today. Now, Sophia is one of our senior BI consultants but specialises in planning and corporate performance management. So certainly well credentialed to take us through the content today. So on that note, thank you Sophia. Thank you Michael. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Sophia. Welcome to Excel to BI to Planning in 30 Minutes webinar. I'm a board consultant and today we're going to take data in Excel to consume that in a BI tool, analyze it, and then use the same tool to turn the data into a forecast in a way we can share with other users at enterprise level. And the challenge today is to show you all of this within the 30 minutes of this webinar. So what is board? It is a BI planning and performance management application. It is a powerful yet simple toolkit for building solutions that range from simple reporting to complex planning. Board unifies planning and BI in a single integrated environment. You can perform a range of tasks in board including self-service analysis, reporting, predictive analysis, interactive dashboarding, planning, forecasting, just to name a few. Firstly, I'm going to show you how you can import and analyze data from a spreadsheet. I'm going to use the data fast track function in board. There are many different options for source file selection, ranging from user data on a single file to enterprise data such as CRM and AX, to external data in the cloud. And today, we'll be using a local file in Excel format. I have an Excel spreadsheet here. This file contains the actual and planning quantity and revenue data by customer, product, and month. Now let's go to Board 10 application. Go to Data Fast Track. There are four steps to import the data. Firstly, I'm going to select the file. Next step, select the database.
or it will now automatically analyze each column on the spreadsheet. It's determining the nature of each column and any relationship between entities. Last step, if I tick Discover, board will generate some prepackaged analysis, such as Pareto analysis. But I'm not going to use this feature today. I'm going to put some pressure on myself and build my own. I like the uh, I like the dramatic effect there to put the pressure on yourself in the thirty minutes, Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Looks like the import is completed already. Let's try and create some BI reports. I'm going to start with a blank screen. Board comes with many objects. I'm going to use the data view object for a data table first. From here, I'm picking up sales revenue, actual and budget data from the data I have just imported. I would also like to include a simple algorithm to show the variance. Now I want to make some quick configuration changes to the variance column so that I can show some in green and some in red for positive and negative variance. Now I have a report to show my planning actual revenue as well as the variance with traffic lights. Now I would like to visualize this data into a pre-map. I'll go to chart and select pre-map. And I want to show my current planning revenue and the actual revenue in my tree map. Series color by variance. Every layout in board has BI ability. I'm only limited for the data I brought in. I can drill down on this tree map. For example, to product. And further drill down to monthly level. Now I'm going to save this screen and call it sales analysis. Let's say we want to do some further analysis of this data. Say it was by region, for example. And I have some customer information from CRM on the spreadsheet. To make this information available for analysis in board, I'm going to go through four steps using the data fast track function again. I'm selecting the customer master information exported from CRM. Board will prepare the data. Now that's finished. Back to the sales analysis screen, 
I can now group the sales data by channel. The total is instantly brought in that I can drill down on regions, for example. I can also go to the tree map I have created and add region to my own. Then my tree map is shown by different regions. I can also add a selector to my screen. For example, sales ID. And I can now use the sales selector to filter the results shown on the screen. Next, I'm going to show you how you can turn the BI data into planning data. I'm going to save this screen as a new screen. And call it current plan update. I'm going to make some changes to the data grade so it's more suited for data entry. Now my planning revenue has data entry enabled, I can make changes directly on the existing plan. For example, I want to change this number to 200,000 and then save. After we make some changes to the existing plan, I would like to show you how you can create different versions for comparison. I have a pre-baked page for version analysis and it does not have any data at the moment. So, so this looks all quite user friendly, quite easy to navigate around um, and, and all, all driven at a user perspective. Is that fair to say, Sophia? This is not a development tool as such, it's just a, a user interface that anyone can, can pretty much be trained how to use. That's right, Michael. This is some um, application that does not require any coding. So anyone familiar with Excel can quite simply follow these simple steps.
like what I have demonstrated, mm -hmm. and create a solution really easily. Excellent. To copy the current plan into a version, I need to consider um, configure a few steps into a procedure. Um, go to database. Okay, so a procedure is a non-technical task. If you're familiar with Excel, like I just said, you can create these steps very easily. So I'm going to create a procedure called version copy. And also add a step to refresh my screen. Now back to the scenario analysis screen. I'm going to add a button on this screen. Call it version copy. And I'm going to point it to the procedure I have just created. To copy the current plan into all versions to populate the baseline, simply click the button. Now all of the versions have been populated with the current planning data. I can now make changes to my worst case scenario and best case scenario. To edit these numbers, the quickest way is by going to the edit block. I'm going to select all the numbers in the best case scenario and multiply everything by 1.2. And then I'm going to select all the numbers in the worst case scenario and multiply everything by 0 0.5. There are many ways you can change this data for example, using constant add, subtract, divide, and linear growth function. I will not show you all of them today. However, you can see that you can utilize all of these functions to change different scenarios to have the best comparison between different result sets. You can add as any version as you like. I'm just going to add one called FY17 week 10. And you can see we have the version created and it will appear on the screen for you to um, add more planning. So you can create as many as you like.
This is just a simple example we did in 30 minutes. Imagine what you can achieve with the technology. Here is a working example for business distributing and selling data. Everyone in the business is a user. We have an integrated environment for all different types of users. I'm going to show you one of the templates in this application. Here is a template designed for the sales team. We have got the sales planning by brand. Some analytical charts on the bottom. Some filters on the screen by brand, state, and channels. There are also procedures configured to calculate revenue. This is built in the same way that I have demonstrated today, just in more time. Now I'm just going to quickly summarize the key features of board. Data Fast Track is a self-service data discovery tool. It automates data preparation and data modeling. It allows users to load the data set and analyze it immediately. You can create a data entry template for current plan update for other business users to update their forecast. As demonstrated, it is quick and easy to build a simple procedure to copy data to different versions for scenario analysis. Board is not only a BI tool, it converts BI reports into planning in a few easy steps. Now I would like to thank you for attending the webinar. I'm going to pass the presentation back to Michael and feel free to ask any question you might have. Wow, Sophia. So look I think you even underestimated your own ability. You suggested you do this in 30 minutes. You're actually able to do it faster than 30 minutes. <laughs> You've overachieved. <laughs> and, and look, just, just want to acknowledge there as well, and, and, and for those, uh, those attending, um, this was a genuine creation from nothing to planning. Uh, you actually stepped us through that all within 30 minutes. The, the example at the end there was just uh, um, an example of something that had been taken a little bit more time to go through, but effectively the concept is, uh, is, is the same. Yeah, that's right, Michael. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, look, we've, we've, I can actually see we've got some questions that have already come through. But just as a, as a reminder, on the right-hand side of your GoToWebinar panel, you have a questions tab. Um, we're going to take some time now to, to answer some questions. So if you want to, just please, uh, please type them in on the right-hand side there on your panel, and we'll get to them uh, uh, in a moment. So we've got some questions that have come through already. Sophia, are you ready for you ready for questions? Yes, sure. Okay, because here's where I get to ask the question, and Sophia gets to answer the question. So uh, the first question here um, uh, looks like it's a, it's a question relating to it, maybe some examples. So the question is, how do other people use this application you build? Um, okay, well, it's a fully deployed web-based application, um, I can simply allow row-based security. Any number of people can use this application. So salespeople can perform sales entries and um, analyze them. Managers can update their current plans and um, I can do my scenario analysis all concurrently. Okay, so you, you noted there that it's not specifically only for developers or only for high-end users? You, you're genuinely not acknowledging there that it's a, um, you know, the salespeople can perform entries, managers update their own plans, etc. So not just the development tool, that's for sure. Uh, that's right, Michael. So this application is designed for any user in the business at any levels, and you can use security to control who can access which model. Um, so it's an enterprise-level application for all users. Okay, excellent, excellent. Um, okay, I can see another question has come through. So, um, a little bit more of a technical question here around SQL databases. So, 
um, and this is all relative as well, is it easy to import data from SQL database? So obviously today you showed the example of getting information from Excel and bringing that in, so um, just around SQL database? Uh, yes, so importing data is very easy from SQL database. Data fast track can be used um, to load data directly from SQL database. Just like the Excel spreadsheet we imported in the demo today, we even have some um, cloud connectors that allow that um, from cloud services directly. Okay, so just just specifically just to reiterate that there, so we can connect two services out in the cloud already. Yes. Okay, okay, excellent. So certainly not just Excel databases, multiple options there. Yes, that's right. Okay, excellent. So just a reminder on the right hand side there of your GoTo panel, there's a questions tab. If you have any other questions, um, please type them in. Uh, if we don't get a chance to, to answer them now, we'll follow up individually with people um, uh, as part of our uh, follow up to this webinar today. Okay, so just to, just to wrap up then, um, look, thanks for, for sending through those questions, uh, firstly. Um, and in terms of what's next, so certainly Sophia showed us today how, how simple it was um, to, uh, to use the board tool to help you with your planning. Um, in terms of how you can take advantage of that or what to do next, um, we'd love to have a conversation with you and someone from our planning team and connect you together and, and discuss how, uh, how we can extend your planning capabilities within your organisation using the board tool. Um, we have a link there and as I mentioned, um, you can find more information on that link. As I mentioned, we'll send a copy of this presentation for you there, so you will get this presentation as part of our follow-up. Uh, so please reach out to your uh, account managers for organisations that we're currently working with, and we'll connect you with our planning team for organisations that we are not yet working with, but we would love to. Um, please contact uh, Eleanor, uh, who was, uh, with details on your screen there, who was and looking after the, uh, the session for us today, who you would have received the invitation from, and we can connect you with our planning team. Um, we do certainly have more content regarding this, um, uh, this concept around planning and, the, and an upcoming event, so just a little advertisement uh, here for you. And we do have an event coming up that will be presented by Alberto. We, we're yet to uh, lock a date in for that, but we'll certainly uh, send you an invitation uh, and love you to uh, to come along to that event. Um, it's it's titled here, as you can see, but specifically adding predictive to your forecasting. So again, forecasting and extending that planning within your organisation. Um, as a, another um, piece of content here that we're more than happy to share with you, we have created uh, a white paper around integrated business planning. Um, fantastic piece there created by Jonathan, uh, again one of our senior um, senior business analysts here within Professional Advantage. Um, if you'd like a copy of that content, please reach out to Eleanor as part of the follow-up to this session and we'll happily send you through that white paper. So just on that, I'd like to, uh, to quickly just wrap up, say thank you uh, firstly to uh, Sophia for presenting the content for us today, uh, taking us through that, that, that tour in, in, as I said, less than 30 minutes, so congratulations on yeah, that. Thank you, Mark. Uh, and, and, and the braveness uh, paid off, <laughs> so well done. Um, and thank you for, uh, for attending today, I appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to join the webinar. Um, and as I mentioned, we will send you a link to our YouTube channel uh, so you can either re-watch the content today or share with someone else within your organisation that you think the content may be relevant as part of that follow-up. So thank you for attending, thank you Sophia, and we'd, uh, we'd love to talk to you more about planning uh, in the future. Thanks everyone.